Hey everybody, it's Party Lead. Welcome back to another episode of our Planet Zoo Franchise Mode Let's Play. We're going to dive right back into Elite Zoo South. As you can imagine, we'll be picking things up right where we left them off at the end of last session, which means there is quite a lot to do. Our enclosure that we were in the middle of building is, uh, well, <laughs> we're in the middle of building it. So there is a fair bit of work to do there. We have to obviously do all the management stuff that surrounds that as well, of course, you know, setting up work zones, making sure donation bins are in place, education, all, all the all the usual good stuff. But I think we're going to be more or less kicking things off with that uh, time lapse uh, to make sure that space does get completed. Now, I do believe we'll be able to complete the space today. Um, all the uh, struggles of pathing and all that have been taken care of and they've all been, you know, like we're behind that. Uh, as some of you suggested in the comments as well, I wholeheartedly agree. It might just overcomplicate things to also add an underwater viewing angle as well. I think it's just going to, again, I think we're going over the top if we do that. So let's keep it at where we are right now in terms of the viewing spots and build around that to create a really nice engaging space. Now, again, we're quite fortunate that uh, these guys are not able to climb. So we are able to use some of those logs and things like that that would make for some great decorative elements. Uh, we don't have to worry about them being able to climb out or anything like that. Again, this space is going to be... Uh, I'm, I'm really excited for this space. I feel like it's a really nice... Um, again, as some of you put it, lagoon, if you will. Uh, and actually, on that note, I want to mention as well, I do have a couple of name suggestions uh, that, uh, that I'm torn between. And I don't know which one I'm going to go for. I actually have <laughs> kind of a name of my own, I guess, that I'm, I'm tempted by as well because the... Um, because of something that happened during our little uh, sort of side um, series, if you will, or our, our mini series when the DLC first dropped. Uh, if, you, if you know, you know, I guess. But I, I think what I'll do is I think I'll throw a poll up once more in the pinned comment down below. And again, you can have your voice heard. When we come back in uh, the session after this one, we'll finally sort of get the name in and, uh, and, and you know, officially tie the bow or tie the ribbon uh, on this enclosure. But uh, you know what? Coming back in here... Thinking back on it, like before I started recording today, I was like, oh yeah, there's so much to do. I don't really know if I'm satisfied with it, this, that, and the other thing. But now that I'm actually looking at it uh, once more, you know, like staring directly at it, I'm pretty pleased with the space overall. I think once we add uh, more, and again, as many of you suggested as well in the comments, once we add some more trees and whatnot and get some more greenery, we might actually get that, again, that lagoon, that kind of secluded lagoon vibe going kind of a thing, uh, which I, I quite like. Um, so we'll, we'll be looking at implementing that, but of course I also want to try and further this, uh, their play space over here, if you will. Oh, it looks like your jumping animation got reset here, huh? Fair enough. Uh, this is our, this is our, our, our thumbnail otter that, uh, well, has changed his pose, I suppose. No, not a pygmy hippo, by the way, as some of you, uh, saw. Uh, however, I do want to address, because I do get a lot of requests for the pygmy hippo. They are coming. All the animals are coming eventually. I'm working away at it, but as you can imagine, there are lots of animals to add, but don't worry, there's lots of room to add them, lots of time to add them as well. We're uh, making progress basically as quickly as we can. I think enough of me dallying, though. Uh, are you vibrating up over there? It was like kind of like, like the camera was situated at the perfect spot to make it just like shake in position. Uh, it's not going to happen again. Uh, but yeah, I think that's enough of me uh, kind of babbling over here. Uh, I do have some name suggestions for these guys up over here as well. I'll be implementing them after the time lapse as well, I think. I'm just quickly going down my like list of notes and stuff. Well, you know, one thing I do want to do before I uh, forget, because I know I will, is all the way up over here. Nope, all the way up over here. I'm going to go ahead and, 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 and check or uncheck this box because uh, we, we know what's coming, right? We know what's coming. We don't even know if this actually works anymore, but, you know, there's something about ritual. There we go. All right. Okay. Okay. Good. Now, if I, if I close this and then I select you again, I hit edit barrier and then do this. God damn it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what does it. But anyway, hopefully this uh, will solve the problem for now. If it doesn't, we'll deal with it later. It's been it's been fine lately, honestly. It's not been the end of the world. Uh, apart from that, there aren't really that many major... Okay, there are some major issues here and there that I have to take care of. In fact, I got some great comments with the entire kind of list of like all the issues that I need to deal with, uh, which is always greatly appreciated. I want to mention as well, and as always, folks... Um, if you have thoughts, opinions, feelings, anecdotes, whatever you want to share, leave a comment down below. It will get read. Uh, it will be addressed one way or another. Uh, what I'm trying to figure out over here is we know we need more food trays uh, for sure because we've been getting food just kind of like dropped off in the middle of nowhere. 
I'm trying to figure out if I want to just do a food tray or if I want to do the food tray and also have like replicate this like, you know, communal eating experience uh, for every food tray. Tells a story, right? I suppose we could go ahead and do something like this. Yeah, sure. They should be able to traverse through that. No problem. Just like they do down over here. I don't know if two will be enough. I also don't know if we have enough uh, enrichment over here. Um, if we take a look at enrichment, 20 out of 36. Yeah, so we will need a little bit more food enrichment as well. You know, we're, we're on a bit of a roll over here. Let me just take care of this and we'll dive into the time lapse. Uh, the dingo, uh, not facilities, come <laughs> Habitat, the dingo. Go ahead and get you. Um, what's, uh, what's a fun food enrichment item? Yeah, sure, the pinata, why not? pinata up over here or maybe down hmm I'm trying to figure out a good spot for it I mean the viewing angles are all pretty great we could put this down over here actually because then from uh, up over here you have a decent viewing angle as well right yeah from up over here you might see some action though to be fair I mean from up over here you can see them eating over there as well and eating over there I feel like I feel like the viewing angles for the dingoes are fantastic but I feel like the guests are complaining anyway because that's just what they do right it's in their nature this should be a koala, but I honestly can't tell. Well, that's a you problem, buddy. This is very clearly a koala. That's that's a you problem. I'm curious about what people think about this space over here. Red kangaroo, someone's gone on a rampage. Do we have... Uh... God damn. <laughs> Vandals. Gotta get some more security cameras up, it seems. Actually, that is something that I need to do. I haven't... Uh... I wouldn't say I've neglected it, but it's been some time before we've gone back and, uh, and added in more... Um more security uh, security cameras and security guards and stuff as well. Uh, view of the koala. Look at, look at that. Oh, will I find you again? These views into the koala habitat are breathtaking. I'm literally having to consciously remember to breathe. But then, literally moments ago, I suppose the view of the koala from here is fine. Like, is, make up your mind. Make up your mind. Glad Koalu is free, right? Forgot about that name. <laughs> These guys are very happy that Koalu is free. Best day ever. I mean, hey, these guys are having a good time. That's a surprise. A welcome one, but what a surprise. What about up over here? What are you guys saying? It's an it's a little baby African wild dog. All right, cool. Yeah, these guys are having a good time as well, it looks like. Ah, fan fantastic. Yeah, this is actually working pretty well. It's working a lot better than I expected. They're headed to a donation box as well, so that's positive uh, signal if I ever saw one. All right, good stuff. Gorilla stuff was taken care of. Yeah, we are good to come down over here and kick off the time lapse. I believe I've taken care of everything else that needs taken care of. I'm going to unpause for a second so we can see the waterfall as we do our time lapse. It just gives us a sense of space, I feel like. It gives us an idea of, of what the uh, the area actually feels like. Um, Yeah, this is a nice intimate little spot over here. Once we get some trees up over there, oh, this is going to be great. I want to try and not block their view, but I might have to. I might have to. You can't. You can't donate from the ride, so you know what? I'm going to have to prioritize the guests who are uh, on the ground level over here. All right, folks. Now, for real, enough of my ramblings. It's time last time. All right, folks, I am extremely pleased with how this time lapse turns out. Uh, heading into this session today, I feel like I mentioned this maybe after the time lapse, so I apologize if I'm repeating myself. But heading into today's session, I was a little concerned with how it's going to turn out. Uh, primarily because this space was not intended to be used like this. This is a, uh, you know, uh, sort of uh, retroactively um, retrofitting the space. I, I suppose you can only retrofit retroactively. You wouldn't be able to retrofit non-retroactively. It kind of goes hand in hand. A anyway, um, this space wasn't supposed to be what it ends up being. And so going into it, I was really worried about how crammed we are if we have enough room to execute stuff, if it's going to be, you know, full of a lot of clipping, if the trees are going to look good, if the, just the vegetation in general is going to look all right, how is it going to, you know, blend into this waterfall space? Is it going to maintain or retain rather that same experience that we were hoping to have over here previously? Will the staff room view be unhindered? And, you know, will it have that same vibe as earlier? There's so many questions, right? Hundreds of thousands of questions and, and moments of doubt or, or uncertainty, I suppose going into it but um yeah i'm pretty pleased <laughs> we managed to uh, uh honestly i uh, i'm i'm very happy with the uh, the end result over here i feel like we are able to um maintain the original sort of sanctity of the area if you will we're able to keep it um 
you know, feeling like uh, like it's a nice viewing spot for the staff. It's a nice um, viewing spot as the staff walks across that little pathway as well. We, we, we keep those same vibes as we had, you know, several, countless episodes ago now. We keep those same vibes, but we build on it. Um, and we build on that as a foundation. And we end up with something that is uh, honestly better than I'd actually imagined going in. Um, vegetation is going to play a very key role over here, filling the space out, adding some volume, using the right kinds of trees. We use a lot of the uh, the Brazil nut tree and the, oh, I'm going to forget the name, the Omba tree, the Omba tree, something like that. Ombra, Omba, oof, can't remember. Uh, but also these reeds. Again, it's, I find um, the reeds really help break up the texture in the water. Uh, I was thinking about lily pads and stuff like that as well, but I wasn't sure if it would make sense for like water to come rushing down so hard and then for lily pads to kind of stay in place. I'm not 100% sure, but uh, but the, the reeds, I thought, did a really good job of, uh, of making this, uh, again, breaking the space up and adding a bit more visual, like, uh, I guess to a degree it's visual noise it sounds wrong. No, visual, visual noise is a bad thing, but this is noise, so to speak, to break up the, 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 the sameness of the water. You know what I mean? Um, but apart from that, we're also going to work on our little staff room over here. This thing has been around for how long now? Like it's been, what, 60 episodes or something? This thing has looked like an unfinished, unpolished, well, call it whatever you want to call it. It has been uh, waiting for some love and attention, and it's finally going to get some. Again, don't want to overcomplicate it. Uh, don't want it to be too simple either, obviously, but I thought we could give a nice little bit of shelter for our uh, guests who are walking by, so extend the platform a little bit, and then again, just kind of build these uh, supports so it looks like it belongs a bit better. What I really wanted to do with this, um, the staff room, actually, is I wanted to, uh, uh, I wanted to, 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 to make it feel like it is a bit more like naturally built, I suppose, uh, or rather what I mean is built using natural materials. I know that sounds like, okay, well, a lot of things are natural materials that don't fall under the category that I'm going for over here. Uh, like I wouldn't do concrete here. Uh, I want it to look like it's, um, you know, like bamboo or wood or something like that. A bit more raw, I suppose, is the word I'm looking for. A little less processed. So we end up using the uh, wooden pieces at the bottom there to act as supports. Get a couple trees in there as well to add a bit of, uh, I, I guess, depth, if you will, or uh, layering, I suppose, above the uh, above the element. And then we're gonna, I think we do it right now. 100% sure. Past party. What were you thinking right now? What was going through my head this very instant? I'm not sure. Ah, yes. The tree line. Um, yeah, it's... it's uh, it's. This is a very packed time lapse. It's a little difficult to remember what order things happened in. My mind was like zipping at 100 miles a minute for sure. Um, but I do believe, yeah, we do a little bit of work on the tree line now. Yeah, and uh, as always, just trying to get inspired by the, the space and, and stuff as well. Uh, I mentioned this afterwards as well, but like trying to get that layering going that the Amazon rainforest is kind of like I, I guess uh, it's a known element of it, like the, the different uh, heights, um, trying to get the whole canopy thing going as well. Uh, obviously not a one-to-one -one translation. That would be, well, not impossible, but uh, I just don't think it would work that nicely. Um, but but trying to get as many of those things in as possible, trying to be inspired by as much of that as possible, and also just trying to get this area more densely um, populated with vegetation. Uh, to make it feel a bit more alive, to break up the uh, the, the brown orange tones of the sand and the, and the dirt and whatnot, uh, and also to to create very interesting kind of viewing angles and spots, if you will. Like this looks so much more well. <laughs> okay, you can't see it now in the time lapse, but afterwards I, I give you a proper kind of look around at all these spaces and how they look now with all these things, um, with all these uh, trees and all in place. Um, but yeah, definitely let myself get distracted by that for a moment. Now we're going to go ahead and establish uh, a, a guardrail over here. Again, it's nice from time to time to build custom guardrails. Uh, and again, for this entire space, I wanted to try and go with a, a bit of a raw vibe. I think the only thing that breaks that, I guess, raw vibe uh, is the uh, the glass, the one-way glass. Um, and I, I suppose the, uh, the the paneling on the, um, oh, what's the stuff called? Like the stuff that the otters sleep on. That's also, it also feels a bit processed because it's been, you know, taken to a lumber yard and it's been cut down to size and stuff like that. Um, but, 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 but even then it's not like, you know, it's not like a refined, a super refined element. It's a, 
it's a, it's an it's one extra step. It's the same as you know tying bamboo together with rope or something, for example. Um, but yeah, a little custom little thing up there. I feel pretty good about that. Uh, and now I decide to finally come back over here and finish this thing off. Uh, so here, yeah, we're gonna add this paneling at the top. Gonna get some bamboo down across the sides. I do play around with the corrugate um, look a little bit, or at least I think about it. I decide not to do that because again, that's uh, yeah, the corrugated plastics and stuff. Again, doesn't have that raw feel to it. It has. Uh, obviously, there's a visual, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, you can see where the visual inspiration comes from, but it wasn't the vibe I was going for in this space, so I decided not to do that. Instead, we go in with the bamboo over here. I'm decently happy with how it looks. I might spruce this up a bit more down the line. It's okay. It's, yeah, it's all right. I might do, I might do more. I do add a little bit of a rooftop garden. I don't think that really does, I don't think that's the answer I was looking for. Uh, but overall, pleased-ish with the space. I think, uh... I just need to break up this side a bit more, this long side over here where it's just a bunch of like repeating bamboo. I feel like I need to maybe do like a crisscross or something with the with the single bamboo pieces or something. Oh, we'll figure it out. By adding a couple more plants here and there just to add a bit more life to this uh, environment, to this space, making sure the animal is happy with what they've got as well. You can see the terrain isn't, I, don't, I can't find that rock that they're complaining about. Fortunately, it's not enough rock to actually upset the animal about the space overall. Um, but I just can't find the rock texture that uh, the otters are, are upset about. Over here as well, by the way, making an adjustment, there was a really great point brought up that I don't really make gradual entrances into the water. It's always animals having to dive into the water. And I was like, yeah, that's a good point. Why don't we go ahead and change that up? So I decided to change that up. Actually, I haven't checked if they are able to just walk into the water, but I, I probably should do that. Um, but that was the, the intent over there with that adjustment. Uh, a couple of tweaks here and there left. Nothing too major at this point just refining some of these elements and i think i will be adding a couple more trees as well to further you know um add further density uh to the space oh no right there is one last big thing to do of course right Let's see what i mean again my mind was just racing uh, i wanted to enclose these uh these shops and again we could have easily just thrown down some of the um pre-made prefabricated uh, elements that the game comes with but i thought you know what we've, we've gone this far why don't we go uh, that one last step and build a, an entirely custom kind of thing. It's nothing too complicated, nothing too, nothing too complex, sorry, uh, but it does play on the whole um, deforestation conversation that's relevant to the uh, otters, and uh, I feel like it's a, again, it's just a nice look as well. Um, blends into the space nicely, it retains that, again, raw feel that I was talking about earlier, so we get a nice consistent visual language going on. Pretty pleased. Pretty pleased. Nothing, again, nothing too complicated, but I like the deep brown uh, next to the vibrant, like, orange and, like, reddish orange and pink. I feel like it stands out a lot. We'll, we'll do the same on the other side as well. And at the end over here, uh, and at the, the, the fronts as well, adding some more education boards too. Just, I, I feel like it's a nice integration of those education boards. Uh, they fit in quite nicely, actually, so it works quite nice. We'll see if the uh, guests actually interact with any of that. Uh, but yeah, pretty pleased with how this is looking. We're going to flip it to the other side. We're going to go ahead and add some uh, rooftops as well. I believe, yeah, we, we get the uh, rooftop garden panel up top. The Aquatic DLC really has some of the best... Ooh, hard to say. I really like the Aquatic DLC. It's got a lot of really good pieces. Yeah, here we go. And with the uh, these pieces up top, and maybe a couple more trees here and there. I know I add a couple of trees after the time lapse as well, but overall, <laughs> I go on a little rant about that... Uh, well, you'll see in just a moment. <laughs> um, yeah, pretty pleased. A couple more trees added in, making sure the other animals aren't too upset about what we've done. I hope you're not too upset about what we've done. Personally, I've enjoyed this time lapse. I hope you guys have as well. Uh, let me know down below, of course, as always. Give me your feedback, your thoughts, your opinions. But for now, back to regular speed. All right, folks, we are back from the time lapse. And I got to say, honestly, I am <laughs> really loving this face. This is... Uh, Wow, it was actually a lot better than I anticipated. I'm, again, just being completely transparent with you going in. I was like, oh man, is this going to work? Is this going to, how is this going to feel? What are the kind of like vibes we can make over here? Will the, will it, won't it, you know, all, all the usual doubts and, and, and stuff you can expect. But like looking at it now, like, okay, I know I did a lot of it in, in the time lapse, like looking at some viewing angles and stuff like that. I like to... I like to take a moment after or like at the end of a time lapse where we complete a space to like go into viewing angles and then just like kind of get a get a feel for like, okay, well, you know, like how would you shoot this for like a a, a, a commercial, if you will, right? Uh, how do, well, how are the guests actually uh, looking at the space? How are the staff looking at the space? Like I, I kind of do that. You'll notice every once in a while. I do that because I try to get that kind of like 
uh, what should I call it? Like a like the uh, the the human. Uh, I don't want to sound all you know existential or anything. It's it's nothing like that. But I want to try and get that kind of human aspect to it. Uh, I find that it helps me go from like this digital world where we can do whatever we really want to, uh, to a bit more of a you know actual viable like okay what what would we actually. Uh, maybe see in the real world from these different uh, aspects or these different angles rather I should say so you know for example like this overhead shot over here for me is just uh, just like there is there really is something about this right now I don't want to hit play because I uh, you know there's gonna be a hundred notifications and all that but you can kind of imagine it using the uh, theater of the mind over here that waterfall flowing you can like kind of hear it even you see the little otter in there as well the guy or swimming down over there but yeah, like you can, yeah, again, it's just like this little mysterious reveal as well as we come in from over here. It's like you can't really see anything, right? And you kind of like come over and around. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that slow camera rotation and boom, little reveal over here. There's a cozy little corner that people can explore. I don't know. I, I, I like that a lot. <laughs> You're going to have to excuse my, my cinematic camera work over here. It's not the best with the, uh, I got to familiarize myself a bit more with the, cinematic uses of this camera but like you can see where there is uh potential over here and, and, and that's not all obviously i mean this is uh that's just the one angle i was also taking a look at it from uh down over here you must have noticed repeatedly coming down over here not uh, not these guys who are now semi buried in the ground because we made the adjustments we needed to but like from down over here you know again you can see you got this like massive waterfall lots of greenery it's got that vibe i was talking about even this kind of like Kind of not blends into the space, but it feels like it belongs a lot more than what it used to be. I might come back and and do some more touch-ups on the the staff room. Um, just I feel like it's okay, you know. I don't ever want to settle for okay. I feel like it could use some more work, but I got to figure out what I'm going to do over here and make it a bit more, you know, jazz it up a little bit, as it were. Uh, but yeah, like this is a, a very nice view as well. Again, you got this waterfall over here, uh, and then you, you just kind of look over, and you've got the uh, the animals, of course, swimming and having a wonderful time. Um, I don't know. I, I I quite like this view. You take a look at the uh, the angle from our staff as well. Again, this is it's so wild actually being back here because, I mean, this is something we built. What episode three, four, five? First ten episodes. This little path over here, like when Llama Lane got put down, this space got built, and now we're back over here. It is really wild to kind of come back. Uh, but yeah, even over here, you know, you've got like the nice colors going on. You got the green. You've got that ride. You know, cutting through the trees up there. You can see the, uh, the the guests on the other side, and you can look over and see the animals uh, playing down over here as well. You've got the waterfall. I feel like this really quite captures the feeling, the vibe we were going for with this space. Um, and then from uh, up over here as well, of course, like this to me is just like, got the water. Like, look at that. Like, you've got this like really kind of, I don't know what to call it, this quiet, um, isolated feel. If, like it's cut off from Llama Lane, right? It's like you can't see anything else. It feels feels very separate. Feels very like yeah, isolated. Got that waterfall. You've got this like a, a little something. It's nothing too big. It's not too ornate or anything too wild. It feels all. It's made of like natural elements and stuff. Uh, what I might want to do actually, now that I'm over here, maybe, maybe we put this down over here. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but if we put another tree down over there, it does block the view off a bit more. What does it do for our top-down view? Not too shabby, not too shabby. Yeah, yeah, you know what? We might actually put that down. Yeah, I quite like that. All right, cool. Go. Yeah, there. Blocks the view off a bit more. And here again, I want to keep... Uh, one, one thing I was playing with as well, if I come down over here, is like layering. One thing I've always learned about, like I learned about the Amazon forest when I was very young, was about the, you know, separate like heights, the the... the distinctly different ecosystems at the various heights the idea of the canopy and things like that so i want to try and like build on some of that kind of stuff having like layers and and, and, and all that um but yeah back up over here but again like this i'm i'm really quite pleased with this space and again you know even over here you kind of like you get cut off there's that real feeling of like isolation i would say um i quite like it i, I quite like it. and then up in the ride as well we should be oh uh, you know what i will have to make some adjustments over here we were fine right up until the end when I added this. We'll have to figure this treat out because for the most part, it's a, it's a viable track. There are a couple of spots now where we'll need to make some adjustments. Uh, not the end of the world. We'll, we'll, we'll go ahead and do that at one point. For now, we'll, we'll leave it as is. But yeah, even this ride coming through, right? Like you're coming from up on high over here, right? And then only for like a moment you get a clean like a clear glimpse 
of everything down over here. And yeah, you you point at that waterfall, man. You point at that waterfall. There we go. Or at a tree. I don't know what you're pointing at. But like, yeah, like, this feels pretty cool as well, you know? Again, obviously from this higher vantage point, you can see a lot more. It's a little less isolated, naturally, but some really, uh, some really cool vibes. Uh, anyway, sorry, I... I I've, I'm really happy with this space, so I hope you don't mind my little mini tour of our execution there, because I, I am quite pleased. There's still a fair bit of work to do, though. Uh, we're going to start with putting down some names. I got a lot of great name suggestions for some of these stores. Uh, again, like I said, for the enclosure itself, I'm torn between a uh, name suggestion and a name suggestion that I have kind of like pulled as inspiration, uh, which was also inspiration for uh, a bit of a on, I guess, in our uh, little um, mini series that we did on the side. Uh, but uh, but but to, to 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 pick out a name for the enclosure itself, let me know in the uh, in, in the in the poll in the pinned comment down below. I'm not sure exactly where I'll put the name down, but uh, we'll figure that out depending on the name we get. You know, that gets picked out as well, obviously, because word length and stuff makes a difference. Anyway, uh, we are going to put down some names now. If I missed your name suggestion, I do apologize. Um, I'm pretty sure I caught them all, but if I missed it, let me know. You know, give me another poke, give me another prod. I think there's actually uh, a couple of names that I still need as well. Let's start with our uh, pip shot water over here, which will henceforth be known as yep, otter water. Can't resist that. Uh, we've got our uh, hot dog squad, which is instead going to be uh, hot dog squad. I actually got there was a, a few different folks that requested that i say request because it, it came out not as a uh, it, for the most part it sounded less like a um suggestion and more like a request which i thought was hilarious but yes hot dog squad i love it uh we've got the info center over here there were a couple of competitors for this one we're gonna go with you otter no and then okay so all right here's the thing you know what ah, this, this, it's an easy solution go ahead and get another washroom over here go ahead and get out of this group Pop you down over here. I thought I saw a connection. I don't want the stairs. I want the ramp. And I try and oh, don't want the stairs. I said I want the ramp. Um, trust me, this is worth it. Trust me. Pop the foundation back over here a little bit. Messy element over here. Not the end of the world. We'll we'll put some rocks down or something. Um, yes, this is of, of utmost importance. Pop you down. Over here. Come on, man. You know you want to work. There we go. Ugh, it's like hideous. Hideous! Uh, can we flatten anymore? Can't flatten. Alright, okay, okay. Can't flatten anymore. What we could try and do is we could try and raise this instead and embrace the, um, the, the, the ramp at the end here. Um, let's see. If I go ahead and get rid of you. Oh, you know what? We can pop it down over here. Go ahead and pick you up. I hate that I have to click exit group, and I hate that it takes time to pop up. It's just like there's a timer here. Hurry it up, All right? Go oh, pop you down over. Hmm. Not ideal because I do want to have these education boards usable. How about okay? I don't seem to be spending an inordinate amount of time on this uh, toilet block over here, but I do think we need another one anyway. So it's not just for uh, for the for the comedy gold that you're about to witness over here. Can we seriously not just like... Game. Gonna be the end of me. Go. Can we please... No. You're gonna make me do this. You're, gonna, you're not gonna... This is, this, is, this is not cool. This is not cool, game. Can we not... No. Okay. Fair enough. How about smooth this a little bit? Surely. Surely. This will work. It's coming to the point where I feel like I have now, yes, officially spent too much time on this. Alright. Yeah. Yes, there we go. Beautiful. Excellent. We're gonna have to adjust this. Alright, cool. Was it worth it? I mean, you're about to tell me, I guess. Get rid of that. Pull you over. Get out of the group. There we go. Alright. Perfect. So. 
soon as I fix the terrain over here, moment of truth will be upon us. I'm going to raise this up. Yeah, raise this up as well. Make a little, like, I'll be kind of a thing over here. Yeah, cool. Uh, so, we, <laughs> we've got you, Otter, no. And we've also got you, Otter, go. Get it? Because tell me that wasn't worth it. Tell me that wasn't worth it. So you got you ought to know, you ought to go. Now you might be wondering, well, why didn't I just name this one you ought to go? Well, because this one's going to be called the Ott House. You know, like the, like the outhouse, except the Ott House. I had a couple of name suggestions. I had, I had a lot of struggles picking picking between name suggestions. So we have our uh, Otter Water, Ott Dog Squad, you ought to know, you ought to go, and Ott House. But we do not have any suggestions for the Gulpy Slush, the Monsieur Frit, and the hat's fantastic. Now again, I, you know, I feel, I feel like I, I feel like I had a gulpy slush suggestion, and I feel like my notes have, hmm, you know, I might be failing myself with the notes over here. Feel free to to bring those suggestions back in, folks. If I miss it, I will go to the uh, comments once more if I did miss something. But feel free to drop your uh, suggestions for this lot, and of course, again, the vote for the uh, the enclosure itself as well. By the way, one last thing I want to zoom in on is uh, this facial expression over here. The perfection of, uh, of of just her exasperation as she walks past this litter. Honestly, just absolutely embodies me. Just 100%. I feel it, you know? Just... And like the the, 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 cus the, the, the the customers, the guests back over here couldn't care less. It's just like, yeah, whatever. You work here. This is your job. You know you know those people? Well, it's your job. Yeah, they'll clean up after me. Whatever. You got them at like, you got them at like McDonald's and stuff as well. So it's like, no, just... Take your stuff to the trash can. Now, I understand this trash can wasn't there, but like, just carry it. Just carry it to the closest trash can. It's not that difficult. This is not just, and again, this is not just about the video game. I'm talking about in real life, too. People, just like, come on. It's not that difficult. It's not that difficult. I will, my mind was blown when I was in Tokyo, when I was in Japan for three weeks' time. They have vending machines everywhere. I went to nine cities, and this was consistent. There are vending machines everywhere. There are no trash cans. There is also no litter. People carry the garbage home or to a destination and then drop it in a trash can. These people, they can't, they can't even, you can't, what is it? Every 10 feet you need to put a trash can down according to Disney World or whatever it is. I've been, I've been told this fact a couple times. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. This. I feel this. 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 I feel this. Look at that sadness. Every time you litter, this is how you make somebody feel. God. <laughs> anyway, I just, I caught that during the time lapse and I was like, this is amazing. I couldn't, uh, anyway, I just, just the sight of it makes me so angry. Probably frustrates me more than the path system is just like seeing these little digital people litter. Anyway, um, bins are down. We got to get donation bins in and we got to get, uh, we got to get uh, education boards as well. So let's go ahead and get to work on that. My rage has now left my body. So I can move on. <laughs> I can move on. I promise. I won't uh, mention litter in the next five minutes. Uh, let's go ahead and get the first donation bins down over here. I, I guess we should kind of go for like the, the two-tone brown, right? We got like the, the dark brown up top and this like light whitish, slightest tint of brown maybe? Eh, mostly white. Mostly white, but I feel like a little bit of brown will uh, help place it a bit better. We got to get like a nice deep, deep brown. Like that, I think works. Like a greenish brown, really. And uh, the slightest hint of brown... There we go. Like that kind of a thing, I'm thinking. Yeah, that feels right. What if we make you like this? Ah, no. Work. Yeah, I think that's fine. We're never going to notice it. I'm getting too nitpicky over here. All right, so one over here. Right, there'll be an education board, like, down over here. Go ahead and put another one down over. Go ahead and put another one. Down over here, I just realized we this path kind of needs more of a um, these little rail guard thingies so kids don't fall in. Go. Oh, once we're up over here, we should be fine. Also, note, you know, I made these the perfect height so that um, people can like trip over and fall down. Not even a free meal. At this point is just like a Darwinism, I suppose, at its finest. Um, are we good over here? We're good over here. We're good over here. Yeah, everything's looking good. Yeah, okay, perfect. Cool. Let's go ahead and duplicate you up over... Hmm. 
you know what actually let's put you at the back over here i'm torn between the education board being on these like supports or in the middle over here we'll we'll figure that out uh let's put another donation bin here i'm i'm really quite pleased with this enclosure it's got so much going for it it's got these like internal uh bits it's got the external bits it's got uh, there's a lot going for it put you over here actually and we need some bins in here don't we There we go. Pop you down over. Come on. Here, I suppose. Can't put any bins on a slope. Low ramp up. As soon as you get up, you can throw something up there. Alright, good stuff. Uh, any more donation bins? Yes, for sure. We need some up over here. Go and pop one down. Up over here. Pop one down up over here. And pop one down up over here that should be good enough i think imagine All right, education board's next well nope give me a, a normal education board here you are yeah the zoo has gotten so big uh, all right the first one i feel like down over here oh, gotta align to surface like down over here is nice yeah make sure it's the right animal a similar look, actually. Close enough. Giant otter. I'll nudge this over a little bit. Like to here, I would say. Sure. Uh, let's go ahead and duplicate. Yeah, okay. So this is where... Hmm. Either I put it down over here, or I put it like... Ooh, you know what? I quite like that. I quite like that. We've not done anything like it before. First time for everything. Oh no, do we not have power? Oh, it's just... The second duplicate never catches, uh, like, copies the information over. Yeah, that's pretty cool, actually. Yeah. Alright, I like that. Go ahead and duplicate you. Pop you down where? Over here? Yeah, that's good. In my opinion. We can put another one down. I feel like people are going to stop up over here. Despite their, like... Despite this not being the best view, I feel like people are going to stop over here. I also feel like I should maybe do something here with this. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. That to be uh, coaxed into working and make you out of glass as well. One way glass. Oh. One-way glass. There we go. Cool. Just because I feel like it uh, seals the space off. It looks a bit nicer. It looks a bit more legit. Uh, okay, not like this. It doesn't. But there we go. There we go. That looks... There we go. I'd buy that for a dollar. All right, cool. Done. Done. Which... Every time I say I buy that for a dollar, I, I feel like recommending Robocop to people. The original Robocop, not the, uh, not the remake. The original Robocop from like what the 70s, 80s, 90s, something like that. I think 80s, maybe 70s. Great movie. Alright, put one of these down over here. Two down over here. We gotta put down the um, audio uh, as well, obviously, the speakers. That comes next. I wanna try it a little differently this time around because I wanna try and separate these two entities a bit more moving forward. I wanna try and force myself to do that. I doubt this will uh, result in that necessarily, but we can try. All right. The giant otter for you. Mm -hmm. Let's just—we could just do that. Not too bad. That uh, otter do the trick, huh? Almost feel bad about that one. Uh, put another one down. Oh, I should put one up over here, maybe. A little too large of a radius. Yeah, that seems good. And we go ahead and put one in the cave against that back wall. Give me some overlap over here unless we reduce the radius. I'm fine with that. Just gotta... Come on. There we go. Yeah, I think that works pretty well, actually. Cool. And then over here... Over here, we'll probably just pull one down over here. Makes sense, right? We don't have to make them separate thought in a way to like make myself 
think differently about the placement of education elements. All right, cool. I feel like that's uh, pretty much it in terms of all the requirements. We got bins, we got donations, uh, we have education. We have to also go to the work zones here, staff, work zones, and oh geez, I guess this falls into um, South America Center. We just made this area so much busier. So much busier. There we go. Easy enough-ish to get to, I think. I mean, you know what I should probably do is um, find a way to connect this staff room up there. Eh? Got this. Where does this lead to? This way. This way. Oh, you know what? It's actually a possibility. All right, let's see. Um, staff path. See what we can do over here. Up over this way, right? And then you go down and over this way. Okay, all right, all right. We're on to something here. Go ahead and push the terrain back a little bit. Uh. <laughs> Whoops. There we go. All right, so we're pushing back this way, I think. And then eventually we come up over there, right? Yeah. Yeah, you know, this is, I think this is actually work. Not bad. Not too shabby. Over this way a bit. There it is. There it is. Lift this up a bit. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. And again, guests shouldn't be coming back here, right? Because it's only the staff path, so I'm not necessarily going to see this space. Like mole hole or whatever you want to call it. It literally looks like it got burrowed by an animal. Which is, you know, fitting, I suppose. Yeah, cool. It'll, it'll all get flattened when uh, when we put the path down, but... I need to think about. Very cool. Yeah, this will make it so much easier for the staff to actually get over here as well. I don't want that to happen. Come on, there we go. Alright, let's see what we can do over here. Uh, move this path back a little bit. Just got to make sure that it's able to transition smoothly over here, right? All right, so. Nope. Do not flatten. Don't want to lift it before I drop it. Okay. Do flatten. Well, that's a little frustrating, but not the end of the world. And we not what is wrong intersecting terrain intersecting terrain interesting complaint there we go come on come on work with me here again nope not liking it fair enough fair enough push this back a bit more there we go uh go ahead and drop you i still love that j is the hotkey for for down up in Jown, I believe, was, uh, was what I called it when I was explaining the shortcut keys. Alright, watch, we're not even able to connect over here. That would really be the uh, the ultimate, um, you know, prize. It looks like we actually can't connect over here, we have to connect over there, which is fine. It's just funny. That is my luck. Come on now. Uh, sure. That. Go ahead and pull this back a little bit further. That's nicely. There. There go. Yeah, go in and do that afterwards, but you never know when the game's gonna be like, no, I don't feel like working. And we, uh, sort of. Sort of. Works there. Not gonna fly. I'm going to have to just allow this to connect like this. This slightly wonky, zigzaggy kind of way. This is also a bit of a pain, isn't it? Be back a little bit. There we go. There we go. Sure, that uh, that's exactly what I wanted. 
Can I still put the back? Yeah. Fantastic. Hey, you know what? Does the trick. Does the trick. And it, it, it does it quite well, actually. This this really will shorten the uh, the movement time over here because we've got a keeper hut over here, right? We've got a staff room over here. You guys are able to pop out and pop up this way, come out this way. Put all the stalls and everything, right? Excellent. If you're coming to feed the animal, you go this way. You go all the way around. It's a little bit longer than maybe ideal, but you go all the way around over here. Put down this way and bam. Cool. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not too bad. Um, it's funny, a bit of it, it is a bit of a trek. You go like, funny. You see, you're literally seeing the entrance you want to get to. You gotta go there, all the way there, up here, here, around, down, back over here. Man, that's hilarious. Um, all right, I think we get to hit play actually. Uh, we did the staff uh, work zones. Oh, you know what? Before I forget, because I know I will. Vet research. We gotta get. Uh, Brandy Lee, let's get you researching the giant otter. How about that? Cool. All right, let's go ahead and unpause finally and uh, see how it all plays out. Really do hope guests enjoy this space. I've certainly enjoyed making it. I hope the uh, otters are able to interact with the space as well. Ooh, what's up with you? Floating over here. You have an escape already? No. Animal welfare is poor over here. I thought we moved you. Not yet. Move you out over here. Get these protesters out of here. Nothing to protest here. Feeding station cannot be reached. Why? Why is that? No reason for for that. Low welfare issues over here. Still, nah, this isn't real. Low welfare over here. Not in ideal temperature. Well, that's something we've definitely needed to fix. Oh, I think you're stuck over here for real. Move you over. Oh, wow. Looks like you were fine after all. All right, temperatures. Their temperature. Limits are what? Way off. We're way too hot, I think. Um, sorry, what am I looking for? I'm looking for Zoopedia. Your limits are 10 to 38. Oh, they actually need coolers over here. Which is pretty neat because so do these guys. Um, facilities. No, habitat. Cooler. Copy down over here and set it to what 20 I think is fair and the animals will be okay as well. Duplicate you. Look at that, they're actually crowding the uh, the water and stuff. But that's not how we're gonna make do over here. Obviously. There we go. Let's make sure it's not down to zero. 20 and you. Knew it. Not 20 for you as well. That should work. Should give us enough variance over here. And hopefully the customers are Comfy as well. We'll put down a couple of coolers over here. One over here. Oh, we gotta put down like picnic benches and stuff as well. Let's not forget that. Completely slipped my mind, actually. Down here too. That should do the trick. Now the water it looks like it's fine, actually. I was wondering if I'd need a uh, water temperature regulator as well, but it looks like we're doing okay. Having a good time, buddy? Yeah, you're having a good time. Wonderful. Literally just treading water, but actually having a great time, I'm sure. Uh, so, hold on, what was I literally just saying? Coolers, let's not forget. Oh, yeah, picnic benches. <laughs> benches. Um, South America ones are really gaudy, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Well, actually, the picnic benches are fun. Let's see. Um, what if I put you down over here? You'll have to like, kind of navigate around it to go to the washroom. Into the world. Not that difficult to do. Um, these benches are really gaudy. Let's try it. See how I feel about it. Dangerous animal has escaped. Ah, yes. The most dangerous of animals, the giant otter. Where'd you escape from? Where have I made a mistake here? I feel like. Maybe this cuts in a little bit too much. Back. Buddy. Where are you going? What are you doing to me? How are you escaping? Up over here. Uh, uh, what? Oh, you're able to jump from plant to plant? Seriously? Alright, that's funny. And over here... Yeah. 
just overdone it a bit. That's an easy fix, though. Cool. That's that. Etsy is about to die of old age. He has delivered us many a prized Baird's Tapir. One last baby, perhaps. May of 131. I don't know if she'll make it. Hopefully. Dangerous animal has escaped. Okay. You guys. I mean, this is adorable. Um, but it's causing us some trouble over here. Get rid of this plant. This is actually very cute. Emergency capture you. These guys are not in ideal humidity. When did this get reset? How has that broken? No power. Oh, okay. Interesting. Um, except you do have power. Must have just repaired the, um... The, the solar panel. Okay, fair enough. Etsy has died. Wow, are you serious? Nope, still around. Still around. Make it to May. Make it to May. Be, be nice to see one more, uh, one more high-quality baby. Alright, what's the deal over here? No more escaping, right? Can we just unbox you right here? Come on. You're back. Where's our other otter? Where are you? Hide from me. Or I'm just blind. Either or, really. Oh, there you go. Right under the camera. Sneaky little fella. Come on now. There we go. Hungry. Well, hopefully there'll be food soon. Are you able to escape? Nope, nope, nope. Looks like we're all good. Of course, when they have kids, we'll, be have, we'll have to check. Uh, this is also looking pretty good. They can carry, they can carry, they can climb most of this. So up over here, seems they're not able to actually transition to this. So we'll need to fix that if we want them to enjoy this space. wonder if I can't push this back at all a little bit. I can. wonder if I can't establish this over here. And then over here. That should do it. Where'd you go, buddy? Like any one of you, where are you? Both down here, aren't they? It's so cool actually to be able to see them like that. Like deep into the water and stuff. I, I quite like it. Yeah, there we go. Now they have full access to everything. Good stuff. Will they ever go all the way to the top? I don't know. But if they do, nothing like it, right? Nothing quite like it. Guests are coming through. They're having a good time. They're just kind of like standing here not really sure what to look at like well this is a pretty space but where will i find this animal maybe i'll just complain about it instead look at that good stuff good stuff so okay research done all these uh facilities and stuff are being used yeah got some good loops if you want to cut they can yeah i'm feeling pretty good about this look at these crowds man god wow uh, actually, that reminds me, on the topic of looking at crowds and all the new animals and stuff, it's been pointed out that I haven't changed our ticket price in a very long time. People are still saying the ticket price is fair, and honestly, that's a bunch of crap. We should be upping this ticket price. And, and yet, I feel like I can't. One guy says it's good, a bunch of them said it's fair. Which means it's at, basically, like, the upper limit, more or less. Oh, I'm sorry about that balloon, buddy. Price is good. Of course, the kids are fine. I don't actually have to pay. Protesters are leaving. Yeah, I don't I don't know. I kinda click on these adults and I just can't. There we go. The price is good. The price is good. The price is fair. This is good. I don't know. Yeah, I guess I could charge a bit more. I mean not that it really matters. We're making so much money. But I guess we could up the price a little bit. Adult for 70 bucks. Child. For 69 bucks. Dollar off. We've reached that level of premium where it's like, I don't, I don't get discounts. Okay, price is fair. Price is fair. Fair is all I need. Again, I can drop the price to make them happy when they arrive, but we don't really need that. Guests have been happy enough for a very long time until we turn the, um, until we turn the, uh, animal talks on. How these guys doing? Oh, yeah. Come on. Get up there, buddy. Nice. Higher? We're gonna play over here. Oh, look at that! 
Oh, this is great. Oh, this is perfect. Oh, I, I couldn't have asked for anything better. This is great. I love this. Okay, turns out I could have asked for something better, and then I got it. <laughs> Didn't even realize I could. That was adorable. Taking a little nap up over here. They've got their hard shelter. It's nice and cool because of the sprinkler that they're enjoying. This is great. Did I wake you by bumping the camera into you? Both up. Yeah, all right. I'm I'm super pleased with this uh, enclosure. Are you going to dive in? Of course you are. Why use the ramp? Oh man, that's amazing. Ah uh, yes, this is great. This is great. In for the fish? I think so. Feeding time, yeah. Just fantastic. Going back, are you going to grab a bite? Come on, buddy. No? How can you resist? This is such a great DLC. Honestly, probably... Arguably the best DLC they've had for this, uh, for this game. Not just because of the animals, but because of all the functionality. Is it the best set of animals? I don't know. Um, thinking back on some of the other animals, they've got... I don't know. That, that's, a, that's a tough one to decide. It's also very subject. It's a lot more subjective, I would say. But mechanically speaking, I feel like this DLC has done uh, done a lot. Okay. Are you kidding me? This is amazing. This is just... <laughs> I, I don't even... I, no comments. I, I don't know what to say, but this is adorable. No, he's done with you. <laughs> Giant rubber duck. Oh no. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright folks. That's uh this is this has definitely been uh Oh yeah, look at that, they're actually able to stand on the little uh platforms that the ducks were on. This has been fun though. This has been fun. I hope y'all enjoyed this session. This is- where are these guys? These guys are scaring me. They're all just standing very terrifyingly still. I really like this area. You know what? Me too. I was just about to say, hope y'all enjoyed this session. I really enjoyed this session. I've really enjoyed building this space. I am very pleased with how it looks. It's got, like I said, it's got those those angles from, from every angle. I'm very, very happy with how this has turned out. I'd love to hear your thoughts as always. Let me know down below. Leave a like, leave a comment, leave your feedback, your thoughts, your your opinions, your anecdotes, your stories, what have you. And wild to be back over here. Again, what was the episode between episode one and ten, right? That we established the staff room, that we established this path and the idea of the waterfall over here. That's all it was gonna be. It was never gonna be an enclosure. These animals didn't exist at the time. How's that for some nostalgia? Folks, as always, had a good time. You know what to do. Let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. It makes a massive difference in how I approach content on the channel, what I do more or less of, how I go about doing it. Y'all know the drill. Also, as always, a massive thanks goes out to all of the channel members and patrons who've been supporting the channel on a monthly basis. Y'all keep us alive and running smoothly. And of course, a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time. Cheers.